So we all see those funny gifs uh, where somebody has doing something absolutely outlandish and outrageous and says, you know, don't be that guy. And, you know, we see those and we laugh at those and we say, well, yeah, obviously I don't want to do that. But there's a really big trend right now going on with graphic designers wanting to become freelancers or graphic design business owners or start agencies. And this mistake I see that they're making is really pulling them back from true growth and true potential of owning a sustainable graphic design business, owning a sustainable freelance lifestyle. And so this is something that I want to talk about and I want to say don't be that guy. So in this video, I want to talk about that mistake and the remedy to the mistake in order to make sure that you're making first things first things. Being a graphic designer has always been about your work. It's not about your credentials. It's not about who you've worked for or where you've been. Though those things are important, it's more about the work that people see, gravitate towards, they dig what you do, and they want to hire you. That's really what it comes down to. Because if you're an accountant, yes, you can be a really good accountant, you can have really good grades, you could work for a great firm, and that's all you need. But as far as a designer is concerned, people want to really gravitate towards your style. They want to say, okay, yeah, I like what you did for that company, come do that for me. So what we have to do is constantly get in front of people, show our work, get our work in front of people, have conversations about design and about the importance of having great design for businesses. So how do we do this currently as graphic designers? Well, we do this by going around town and talking to different vendors and businesses. We do this by getting on social media and posting our content. We even do this by posting ourselves onto job posting websites or up to Upwork or Fiverr and making our services available to the world. But you know what I see more than anything being the biggest mistake? And that's people obsessing on content more than structure. So this is what I'm seeing happen right now for graphic designers and graphic design business owners trying to get started. And they say, okay, um, so the first thing I need to do is, is get attention, right? So I need to go to Instagram. All right, I need to post them on Instagram. All right, now I need to go over to Facebook and get my Facebook page started and start posting on Facebook and, and get, get some people to follow me there. Uh, and then also I need searchability. So I need to get on YouTube and start making YouTube videos. And at the end of my YouTube video, I'm gonna have a call to action so people go over to my, uh, my Dribbble or my Behance. And then once they're on my Behance, I want them to check out my Instagram because they can follow me on my Instagram and, and see all these you know cool things and cool shots and you know cool lifestyle photos that I've been doing on Instagram. And then uh, I'm going to send them back over to my Facebook group. And then from there, I need to connect with them on LinkedIn because if I have more followers on LinkedIn, I have a really good professional standing, good status. Uh, but then again, I don't want to forget my Instagram, so i got to make sure I'm posting every day on Instagram, getting that content out there. That's super important. And so there's this constant barrage of just posting here and posting there and, and make you putting on this cool face here and and I, yeah you know I see people getting a lot of good work out there but but all they're doing is just putting work out there and what happens when something actually pops and so I see this as being somewhat successful I see people yeah getting some business but at the end of the day, what are you going to do when you've built no business structure in order to support the incoming traffic that you're receiving and the clients that you're now onboarding into your business? So this is the number one mistake I see for new freelancers, graphic designers, wanting to start their businesses is that they built no business structure. They built no organizational structure. So what does that mean for you as a graphic designer who wants to be a business owner, who wants to be a freelancer? Does that mean you stop posting on Instagram and all these social media platforms? No, I think there's a place for it, but I think it's not the solution to building a successful and sustainable business. What you need to do is go into your folders on your computer and start organizing them in an intelligent, understandable way. You need to not have your screen littered with hundreds of design files and the only reason you know where they are is because you put them there and you hope to remember. You need to get on Google Drive and organize things in a way so that way if you onboard a new team member, whether from overseas or from here in the States, they are able to actually assist you because they can find the files that you're speaking of. You need to have a system, a project management system, in order to understand, okay, where's the project at? What's going on with this current project and what status is it at? Do I have somebody working on that or is it just me and I need to know where the status is at? Am I waiting on client revisions? What's going on? The third thing you want to look at is your client communication. So are you just like send random texts off and emails and you know, you're really disorganized on how to get the information and you know, you hope you understand what the client's vision is for this design. So, you know, you're going to sketch a few notes here and there and maybe have a meeting with them, but 
maybe not. So this is probably the biggest mistake I see new designers making, and that's no structure. It's no plan. It's no system. They're just throwing darts at a dartboard when they're blindfolded and hoping that they hit the center when they're not even hitting the dartboard. I really want you to take a deep look at your structure uh, of just how you're organizing your business. I don't even mean how your LLC is set up or how you know your living will is set up. I just mean your simple structure of how you run your client onboarding and communication process. And then once you're in the midst of your projects, how are they organized? Are they easy to manage? So this is something that I think is extremely important lately because I find so many designers want to onboard more clients, want to get more business, but they're stretched so thin with time because they're trying to manage disorganization and unthoughtfulness. What happens when you have unthoughtfulness and you continue in that pattern is you just dig yourself deeper and deeper into a hole which you cannot dig out of unless you just stop, look around, say, okay, this is the hole I'm in. Now I need some help getting out. So question of the day, do you feel you're so overwhelmed with trying to get your name out there, trying to post on social media that you don't have time to organize your business structure? That you don't have time to figure all that out? I want you to comment below right now. If that is your struggle, I've got an option for you, but I really want you to head on there and at least own that and let's move forward from the feelings that you don't have the time and you're just so overwhelmed by the idea of trying to get your business out there, trying to get your name out there to be a graphic design business owner or freelancer. So that's something I think you, we really have to be honest about before we can ever move forward. And so that's really been a passion for mine over the past couple months. And I've taken the time to build out a full course on how to dig yourself out. Um, and it really revolves around using Google Sheets for your project management system and your organizing your folders, an email automator. That way you can have template email. So when you onboard a new client, you just click a button, it loads up the template email, you fill the client information in and you send it off. Because honestly, I, I've been writing client emails for my personal graphic design business and now in my role as a digital marketing manager. And before developing a good quality system, it would take me 20, 30 minutes or more to write an email off to a client. And when you add that up over the week and you begin to scale your business, if you're onboarding you know, two to three to four clients a week, which is where you wanna be in order to create a sustainable business, uh, you're wasting right there three hours maybe if, if it's taking you a while to get those client emails set up and get the information you need and so that times the year is just it's 200 plus hours I mean it's just crazy so these are things that you don't think about when you're getting started uh, you just think okay get content out there just get rolling I just need people to know who I am and yes that is so important that's the only way your business will be sustainable is people see your work but the issue I have with that is when you really do pop, uh, you're going to be flooded and you're not even going to be able to support the work that you promised. And so make first things first things. Uh, get set up. Get your structure. You're actually seeing this video at a perfect time uh, if it's before the new year because I'm going into the early bird special. So if you go down below, uh, click on the link below this video, you will get on the early bird special if you're after January 1st. Uh, don't fret uh, if you're landing on this video I will still hook you up get you connected with the course and I would love for you to go through it It's really gonna be the key to creating a successful business um, Because sustainability and long-term success come with having an organized and structured business um, And like I said, this isn't talking about LLC or business insurance uh, There's plenty of great channels out there to really tune you in on that uh, But what I'm talking about today is is the simple organization of structure of your onboarding process, your organization of your project management, and your file structure. That is key because without that, you're just going to be a man or a woman of disorganization. Head down there, jump on the email list, or grab the graphic design business checklist, and that'll help you understand. It'll give you a little more context on, okay, do I have the necessary resources set up for long-term growth and success? I'm Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com, and I'll see you here on the next episode.